Hey guys, uh, thank you very much for joining uh, today as well. Uh, today's topic will be EU citizens and all the related rights, duties, and other rules or general rules. Uh, and I will also have something special for you uh, because there are many of you following me here on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok, uh, who go to our company for services and everywhere. And I really appreciate it because it's really great to see people come in here and see people or see myself being useful to people. So I decided to make something special for you. And after this live stream is finished, I will share in the comments uh, a link to a special website uh, with all the information about uh, what I was talking about, like a blog about like basically a blog summary of uh, what I will be talking about now. Plus, there will be a discount code of 21% uh, for our services. It's primarily meant for EU citizens watching the live stream now. But if you are watching the live stream and you're not an EU citizen, you can use this discount as well. So please, once the, call, once the live stream is finished, go to the description or to the comments and I will share the link there and you can get the 21% uh, off from all our immigration services. But let's jump into the topic right now. So the topic today is EU citizens, their rights, duties, and general rules. So EU citizens uh, living in the Czech Republic uh, have basically the same rights and obligations as Czech citizens in terms of business, uh, employment, or just healthcare, or like the basic daily life. It can just involve uh, more paperwork, because if you're not a Czech citizen, some extra paperwork might be involved uh, and some rights of EU citizens might be limited until you get a residence certificate, the registration certificate or temporary, co uh, formerly called uh, temporary residence certificate. Now it's registration certificate, it used to be different. But anyway, uh, besides that, uh, even if you want to live here uh, and you don't want to get the certificate, uh, I just got stuck. I just got, I'm, get, I'm back. Okay. So even if you want to live, if you're an EU citizen and you want to live here and don't want to do anything, you can, but your rights might be slightly limited it might, or the life might be slightly more complicated if you don't get the registration certificate. Uh, so basically the, the only obligation EU citizens have when moving to the Czech Republic is uh, to get reported and get registered with the foreign police within 30 days after their arrival to the Czech Republic. And this applies both to EU citizens just visiting the Czech Republic and EU citizens moving to the Czech Republic. Everyone, all the foreigners from the EU who, are, who come to the Czech Republic have to register with the foreign police. Obviously, uh, if uh, you are just a tourist uh, and you stay here for one day or two days and you stay in a hotel or hostel, you don't have to physically go to the foreign police because the hotel or hostel will register you on your behalf. But if you're moving here or if you're here as a tourist, but you're not staying in some accommodation facility, but you're staying with your friends, for example, you should officially go to the foreign police and get yourself registered there within 30 days after your arrival. Uh, I did another video uh, about the foreign police registration uh, previously, so please refer to that if you have any questions re regarding that, or we have a blog post about that on our Move to Prague website as well, uh, or just get in touch with me directly, and I'll be happy to share all the info. Uh, yeah, now, uh, even though EU citizens uh, can live in the Czech Republic without any permission or some like paperwork, their rights might be slightly limited until uh, they get the temporary residence certificate formerly or now called registration certificate. Uh, it can be useful in many occasions. It's not mandatory. The only mandatory thing is the foreign police registration. The registration certificate is not mandatory, but it can be useful in many situations of like everyday life. So, for example, if you uh, want to exchange your driver's license, if you want to have a check one, you need to have the temporary residence certificate or the registration certificate, as it's called now. Uh, if you want to uh, get the parking permit in some parts of the Czech Republic, you also need to have the registration certificate as an EU citizen to be able to do that. And there are other things as well. For example, if you want to vote in some elections or if you want to get a loan or you want to get your kid into some schools, you might 
those are situations where you might need to have the temporary resident certificate or the registration certificate, as they call it now. And during COVID, obviously, that was the uh, main problem as well, that even EU citizens living in the Czech Republic for many years, they were not allowed to travel uh, to the Czech Republic. Even they had a job here, even though they had uh, an apartment rented here, they were not allowed to travel if they didn't have the registration certificate. So even for occasions like that, it might be useful to get it. Uh, getting the registration certificate is generally, uh, or getting the registration certificate for EU citizens is generally a pretty straightforward uh, process, but it can get complicated because there are still some documents you need to submit and they need to be perfectly correct. So I'll go now through them uh, one by one very briefly, and then I will go into details. So what documents are needed for the registration certificate, formerly called uh, temporary resident certificate? Number one, application form. Number two, uh, passport or EU national ID. Uh, number three, uh, one passport sized photo. Number four, proof of accommodation. Uh, number five, documents on the purpose of your stay. And number six uh, is the administrative fee, which needs to be paid in Kolki. And number seven can be if you, for example, want our help with the process, which makes it uh, smoother and easier, then we will also need a power of, of attorney to be able to represent you in front of the ministry. So those were the seven or six uh, documents uh, needed for the temporary residence certificate, formally now registration certificate. And now let's go through them uh, one by one. So what documents are needed for the registration certificate of an EU citizen? Number one is the application form. It's easy to fill it in because it's in Czech and English and they really uh, made it simple. So it's, it's usually pretty OK. Uh, number two, you need to have either your passport or national ID. So if you're, for example, German and you want to get a registration certificate in the Czech Republic, you can either use your German passport or your German national ID. Uh, number three uh, is one passport size photo. It just needs to be a good quality. So don't get it in the photo booths in metro stations, but get it from some professional photographer. Uh, number four, proof of accommodation. In most cases, uh, this can be your lease agreement, but you need to be especially careful or especially spe careful uh, because there are many things that can go wrong in the lease agreement. I did another video about this, so please uh, look for it. How to like it was called something with accommodation in the Czech Republic uh, because there are many things that can go wrong, and the ministry would uh, find those mistakes if there are there. Uh, number five uh, are documents on the purpose of your stay. Uh, officially, you don't need any purpose of stay. So you can just check in the application form that uh, your purpose of stay is other. But if you're a student, for example, or if you have a trade license, or if you have an uh, employment contract, you can use those as the proof of your uh, residence. Then uh, you need to also have a health insurance. Uh, if you're employed or if you're self-employed, you don't have to have it actually uh, because you're covered by the public health care. But if you're, uh, if you're not, if you're a student, for example, or if you just live here with your family member or just because you like it here, you need to buy a private health insurance. Uh, and the last thing is administrative fee, which in most cases is 200 crowns and it needs to be paid in the revenue stamps. So those were the documents. Uh, there is one question uh, I'll answer right now. Lev Blinikov, thank you. Because uh, I realized that I forgot the health insurance in the, in, the, in the list. So I'll edit there and I'll do it one more time. But Lev Blinikov, four years ago, I was asked birth certificate with Apostille translation to get a check. Can you comment on that? Did rules change? Uh, well, the thing is that uh, it depends where are you from. But the birth certificate is only needed if, uh, if you don't have the registration certificate. If you're an EU citizen, you live in the Czech Republic and uh, you want to get the Rodne číslo for some reason, but you don't have the temporary resident certificate or the registration certificate, as they call it now, then you might be asked to provide a birth certificate with apostille translation and everything. But if you apply, if you're an EU citizen and you apply for the registration certificate, the ministry should issue the Rodne číslo for you without any further document. So 
Uh, I will send from you. Makes sense. Yeah. So if you apply for the for the registration certificate, the ministry should issue it uh, along with that. So you don't need the birth certificate. But if uh, if you don't have the registration certificate or you don't plan on applying it, you need to apply for the Rodnet Číslo separately in a different uh, part of the Ministry of the Interior and. Uh, they might require the birth certificate for that. So the easiest way to sort it out would be uh, getting the, the registration certificate and uh, they should issue the, the, the birth number for you right away. So let's go back now to the documents because I realized I made a mistake. So let's one, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven documents. Okay, so I'll do it again. So seven documents needed for the registration certificate for EU citizens in the Czech Republic. Number one, uh, application form. Number two, passport or national ID. Number three, uh, one passport size photo. Number, number four, uh, proof of accommodation. Number five, documents on the purpose of your stay. Number six is check or general health insurance. And number seven is 200 crowns administrative fee. Sometimes you might also, if you, for example, want to use other services, we can do everything on your behalf. Besides the pickup of the certificate, you need to do it in person and you would need a power of attorney for that. So that would be an additional document. All right. And now uh, maybe left, this will be interesting for you as well, because if you, okay, I'll, I'll jump right into that. Uh, so if you are an EU citizen and you've been living in the Czech Republic for longer than five years, in some cases, two years, uh, you can apply for a permanent residence permit. In general, the permanent residence permit does not really bring you too many advantages uh, compared to the registration certificate. But especially if you if you see your future in the Czech Republic and you might eventually want to apply for Czech citizenship, the permanent residence permit is one of the uh, mandatory steps. So uh, if you plan on staying long term, getting the permanent residency as an EU citizen might be the good thing for you to do. And what documents are needed for the permanent residence permit for EU citizens? Number one, application form. Number two, passport or national ID. Number three, two passport size photos. Number four, proof of accommodation. Number five, uh, proof of uh, your residence, uh, like that you've been living here for long enough, so either two or five years. The number six, um, is power of attorney if you want to do it, for example, with us. Uh, and number seven would be administrative fee uh, for submitting the application to the Ministry of the Interior. So now I will go through the documents in details. Uh, so what documents are needed for the permanent residence permit for EU citizens? Number one is the application form. Again, it's Czech and English, nothing too complicated there to fill in. Number two, uh, your passport or national ID, EU national ID. Uh, number three, uh, two passport size photos. Those should be in a good quality. Uh, so not from the photo booths in the metro station, but from some professional uh, photographer or photo studio. Number four, uh, proof of accommodation. Uh, the proof of accommodation for the, it can either be your lease agreement if it meets all the requirements, or it can be a special proof of accommodation form from your landlord. Uh, number five, doc five documents proving uh, that you've been here residing long enough. So either two years in some cases or generally in fi the five years of residence. EU citizens have the advantage that you can apply for the permanent residence permit even if you don't have the registration certificate or the former uh, temporary residence certificate. You just need to prove that you've been living here for five years. That can prove pretty difficult because the ministry is not okay with most of the documents you submit to them. But especially if you've been employed the whole time, the whole five years, and you have all the employment contracts, or you've had the trade license the whole time, and you've been paying the social security on a monthly basis, the healthcare on a monthly basis, then you should be completely fine. But you need to prove that you have been really residing here and contributing uh, for the five years. Then the next document needed is the application fee, which is, uh, I believe, two or 300 uh, crowns, which needs to be paid in Kolki. Uh, why I don't remember it is that it's a new obligation. EU citizens had everything for free before, but now they started with this. Uh, they, they, there have been many changes, and this is one of them. So either two or 300 crowns for the administrative fee. 
And then uh, if you, for example, want us to take care of the process uh, on your behalf and help you with everything, uh, we will also need a power of attorney for that. Uh, so that's basically it. That was the official uh, part of the, the presentation. Uh, I did actually this topic uh, on Monday, but that was when Facebook got like shut down. Uh, so it was a very bad, uh, bad timing and the, the live stream wasn't really good because it was just short and then everything went uh, sideways. So I actually switched to TikTok and I had a really nice uh, stream on TikTok. Uh, but one thing I remembered now for those who are still watching, uh, I will be sharing, once I finish this live in two minutes, I will be sharing a link uh, either in the comments here or under on the description in the in, on YouTube. Uh, and I will be sharing a link with the summary of everything I've talked about, all the required documents and the processes and everything. But I will also be sharing their uh, discount code for 21% discount uh, for any services you decide to use as an EU citizen uh, from uh, Move to Prague. So go there, definitely check the comments. I'll do it right away when I finish the, the, the live stream and check out the, the description on YouTube and get this special discount just for you who are watching uh, my live now. So Lev Blenikov, um, what cases are two years and what are the five years for a permanent residency? That's a good question. Uh, generally, you can apply for permanent re residency after five years of living in the Czech Republic without any breaks and uh, gaps. Uh, in some cases, so that's a general rule. In some cases, you can do it after two years, but those cases are mainly if you uh, got the registration certificate, for example, as a family member of another EU citizen. So if you, for example, you're German, I don't know, and you have a Czech wife, uh, and you applied for the registration certificate as a husband of a Czech citizen, then in this case, you can apply uh, for the permanent residency after two years. The same rule applies if you applied as a family member of another EU citizen living in the Czech Republic and having already the permanent residence themselves. So if, you, if you're a couple, married couple uh, of EU citizens, one of you already have the permanent residency or one of you is a Czech citizen, uh, and then you apply for the residence certificate, registration certificate uh, as a family member uh, of this person, then you can apply for uh, the permanent residency after two years. Oh, yeah, I, my throat is getting uh, dry. So guys, if you have uh, left, if you have some more questions, please uh, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, guys on Facebook, if you have uh, some questions as well, let me know, I'll answer them. If not, I'll be I'll be finishing the call in like one or two minutes. Because the, the thing I usually do uh, when there are no questions or I'm not sure because someone might be typing, then I usually start awkwardly dancing. And that's that's very weird for everyone involved. So <laughs> uh, thanks a lot. I guess uh, that's for now. Uh, yeah, I'm happy I could help. Uh, if you need any assistance with the with the permanent residency, or if you decide to get the, the temporary residence, so you can get uh, the, the registration certificate, I mean, uh, to get the Rodne Číslo, we'll be, we'll be happy to help. And you can use the discount code, which will appear in the, in the comments on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, maybe you can catch, uh, touch up on topic of citizenship, what is required time for that. Yeah, I will definitely be doing, uh, doing a live stream about citizenship as well, because we, we've done a couple of citizenships uh, as well. But in general, to answer now, uh, you can apply for Czech citizenship uh, time-wise uh, after five years of having the permanent residence permit or after 10 years in total. So if you, for example, got the, the permanent residency after two years and you have permanent residence now for five years, you can already qualify for the, for the citizenship. If you don't have the, the temporary residency or the registration certificate or the permanent residence, but you've been living here for 10 years, then you can apply for the permanent residency. And as soon as you get it, then you can apply for citizenship. So because it's either five years of having permanent residence permit or 10 years of uh, 10 years in total having uh, the permanent residency. So even if you've been here without any residence for 10 years and now you get the permanent residency, you can apply.
I hope it it makes sense because so uh, I I realized that I uh kind of lost the the train there uh but hopefully that was clear but then there are so many more uh like documents you need uh so it's yeah it's actually one of the most expensive services we offer because it's uh it, there there are really many documents uh you need to prove that you've been integrated into the czech society you need to prove that you've been making money here for the last three years you need to prove your incomes you need to pass a czech language exam and uh history exam um and some more there there are some more requirements besides those um you need to yeah prove that you've been integrated you need to prove that you have no debts against the government like the social security healthcare, income tax everywhere uh, plus many more things. So it's really a lot of paperwork and it usually takes many weeks. Uh, you need to write a motivation letter. You need to provide your CV. You need to you need to list all your stays abroad. Uh, yeah, so there are there are many, many requirements. So uh, we help with that. But it's uh, it's yeah, it's a very complicated process or long term, at least not that complicated. But you need to get plenty of documents together for the citizenship. Okay, so thanks a lot, Jan. Uh, thank you, Lev. Uh, it was my pleasure. Uh, so, guys, if you have some more questions, uh, that's uh, the right time to ask them now. Otherwise, I'll be finishing the live stream in like 30 seconds. So, if, if some of you has uh, some questions uh, still, please feel free to ask them, type them. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll dance for you awkwardly and <laughs> within 30 seconds, I'll be finishing the live stream. And it must be always because uh, I usually just post the live streams directly to Facebook and, and YouTube and I don't do any editing. Uh, so if some people are watching till the end, if they like the topic and you are, they, they are watching, it might be very strange to see me dancing uh, at the end of every video. So... <laughs> Okay, it doesn't seem like anyone is gonna have any questions. So it was my pleasure and thank you all for joining. Uh, it's always good to see people that uh, like you, I can help and people interact, so it's always good. So thank you guys. Thank you, Lev. Uh, get in touch if you, if you need any help uh, and see you next time. Bye-bye.